We finished our profile system, but it's still something left to do in our dashboard section. So if you go to my dashboard, you'll get all the list of album. And we have everything here for like, you can create the album, you can view album, you can delete, edit, but still something is missing here. That is the pagination. So we have to get the pagination here and this everything we are displaying in the view component. So we have to display pagination by a view. And Laravel has made everything easy for this. So we can use the resource collection so that we can include our metadata within the response and we'll see this how we do that. Okay, so now let's go here and if you scroll down here, then in the web.psp, we have the get albums. So this is the get albums and this get album is getting because of this our response we are getting all this. So if you go to the get albums, then we should get the album of that current logged in user ID. So I'm logging with the ID and I'm getting all of my album. Now let's paginate this. So if you go to album control and here I write paginate and I can paginate three per page because I don't have much data. So I'll just paginate three and let's see. And you can see uh, we have the pagination included within our response. But still this is hard to display in a view component when uh, we want to get this pagination. So for that we need to use the resource collection. And one thing you notice here is that everything here are wrapped within the data. Everything is wrapped in data and this pagination link is outside of data. Now if we go to our albums, uh, I think this is the album. It's not album. So let's go here and dashboard. Now we don't see anything. The reason is that we have extra data. So what we have to do is we go to the uh, JS and we have the index component and here we can display all the albums and here you can see this is getting album. So we have extra data because everything are wrapped within the data. So now we need to include here data and now if you refresh then we can see all the albums. Okay. Now let's create the resource collection. So to create a resource collection here I can first I'll remove this and then I'll write clear and then here I'll write php artisan make resource -E resource and then here I'll write album resource resource -E resource. So if you have never used this resource then uh, we are not doing much thing. Okay, so it's easy to understand here and if you like to study more then you can go here and you can study this as well. But here we are not doing anything just we are using resource collection and now you can see in inside the HTTP we should have the resources folder and we have the resource. Now only thing we do here is we'll make this resource. So the resource collection R-E-S-O-U-R-C resource C-O-L-L-E-C-E-T-N collection. So this will be the resource collection and then this will be also resource collection. And now we'll be using the resource collection. Now let's go to the album control and let's give the name space. So here I'll give use app slash http slash we have the resources folder within the http. So it's our R E S sorry R E S O U R C resources and we have album resources album res or urc resource so now we have album resource now we can use it there so now here i can write return new and here album resource and everything this i'll cut from here and then i'll paste here and i'll remove this one and then here should be the semicolon so now let's go and let's see this and let's see what you get. So get albums and you can see here if you go down then still we are not getting anything here and it should be wrapped within the meta so let's see what's wrong here. So we have STB resources and STB resources and we have album resource and we have new album resource and we wrapped everything here and we have present here as well. So now let's go to album resource here. And uh, we have the resource collection and the resource collection. Okay, we need to start the server. Okay, now let's go here. And now let's scroll. And you can see now this is included in the meta. Now it will be more easy to create a business link. Okay, now let's go here and 
let's close this and here uh, let's close this and let's close the search bar now let's make the page initial name here so uh, in the resources uh, in the resources inside the component here I'll make the page initial component so P A Z I N A T N page initial C O M P O N A N T component dot view component dot view and let's make template and then we'll make the div here and close and then here we'll write a script and let's write exp what export default and now we'll get here pagination so to get a pagination here I can uh, I can go here and then I'll write get bootstrap and start here and let's create the pagination from the bootstrap pagination and I'll include this one I'll copy this and then I'll paste here so I'll remove this D I'll leave of the template and then I'll paste over here now let's register out this component so I'll register here or we can also call this in our index component let's register here so now here I'll write this as a pagination P A Z I N A T I N pagination and pagination P A Z I N A T I N pagination now I can include this pagination uh, so something wrong here so pagination and it's inside the component and we have pagination component pagination component view and let's see what's wrong here so if I remove this everything and if I include the dip and let's see uh, I haven't got anything. So still wrong. Uh, I think the uh, spelling is wrong. So what I do here, I'll do Control Z here, and then I'll copy this here. So pagination component. I'll copy this, and then here I'll paste this exactly the same so that it will not have any spelling mistake so I'll copy this and paste and now let's see so now it's fine so spelling was mistake so now let's copy this pagination and let's go to index that is the album and here we have just below the table here I can paste the pagination and pagination and now let's go here and if you go to the albums AL AUMS albums or something we have and here now we should have the pagination great so in the next video we'll be working on this uh, pagination and we'll make this clickable